Hello and welcome to the People's Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of Wednesday, October 22nd, 21st. Sorry, I'm trying to time travel with you guys a day in advance. <laughs> October 21st, 2020. Well, when it comes to second stimulus check and stimulus package, uh, Nancy Pelosi has extended her, the time to get it passed. She says after the stimulus talks on Tuesday that she says that there, there is that she believes there's a deal that can be made okay and that both parties are serious about finding a compromise the senate voted on a second round of ppp in a standalone bill and some of the democrats in the senate joined the republicans on voting yes for that bill even though it did not pass it needed a total of 60 votes to pass and it only got 40. And Pelosi said that Tuesday wasn't a make or break deadline time for stimulus. Pelosi wrote a photo to her fellow Democrats Tuesday, and basically what she said was I she remains hopeful that they can reach a agreement before the elections. The stimulus will be safer, bigger, better, and it will be retroactive. Isn't that nice? So does that mean that when we get a twelve hundred dollar paycheck, sorry, a twelve hundred dollar stimulus check from the government, it would be retroactive for six months back? So it would become seventy two hundred bucks instead of twelve hundred bucks. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? The biggest item that the politicians are fighting over are basically the state and local assistance, um, funding for well, state and local assistance, government funding, and liability protection. There are also small disagreements on the tax credits and the um, national testing tra testing strategy on testing for COVID-19. And Pelosi is easing up on her demands when it comes to money for the census. According to Chief of Staff Mark Meadows, the goal is to reach an agreement before this weekend. The leader of the Senate, Mitch McConnell, told the Republicans not to cut any deals with the Democrats for the next couple of days because basically they want to, um, they don't want it to disrupt their current schedule of putting Judge Amy Barrett in the Supreme Court. That's right. They put a similar, they put a, a chick that has an asset of cash above the people that are suffering and starving and dying while they play games. Isn't that nice of them? Um, okay, got that. The Senate Republicans are basically wanting to put her in the Supreme Court. They're expected to actually put this uh, nom nominee in uh, um, in next week sometime to confirm her as the, as the Supreme Court Justice. Mitch McConnell is thinking on voting on a another uh, voting on the same PPP standalone bill yet again, because there was one Republican senator that did one Republican senator that did not vote, and the Republicans think that they can convince two more Democrats to vote with them on this. Um, Today, the Senate will be voting on a additional standalone bill that would include an extension of unemployment give money to schools, and would be giving funny funding for the health care system. Isn't that nice of them? Um, the standalone bill is known as $500 billion skinny bill. In other words, it's the exact same skinny bill they try to put up before the March to Common Grounds Act. That uh, was the the basically the um, bipartisan agreement between the Republicans and Democrats that had that um, booster into it that took it from 1.5 million, 1.5 trillion, sorry, to two trillion dollars. That offered basically would have given us two stimulus checks instead of just one. And in the COVID nineteen case news, they, sorry, in the COVID nineteen news, cases continue to rise in the United States. In the United States, there is a reported 60,315 new cases and 933 deaths as of yesterday. And basically, our total number of cases reported are 8.2 million. 
and our total number of fatalities is 221,000. And Europe is, as far as their COVID is going, is getting a lot worse. In fact, I think it was in France, they're actually going to step up the lockdown even more. And in Germany, they're actually thinking about giving a vote to see whether they should actually put into complete lockdown yet again or not. And as I reported yesterday, and I believe the day before, about what certain people are saying about this, how our next 6 to 12 weeks is going to be the darkest in modern American history. People are going to start to feel isolated and alone. Because most of it, what's going to happen is, is when this wave of COVID-19 hits the United States, we're going to go into complete and total isolation. We're not going to go outside unless to probably get food. And that's probably about it. Most places will be closed down. We'll be locked in our houses. We won't be able to do nothing. And the only people that won't be able to go out will be the essential workers. And as much as I don't like saying this, but I don't want to be an essential worker no more. <laughs> I would actually, I, I hate, I don't like we're saying this because, I mean, I do enjoy working, but it would be nice to be able to take a vacation, as you might want to call it, even though it's not really a vacation because I'd be getting laid off from my job, which means I'd be part of the unemployment claims, but I could actually use the extra rest that I have been lacking since I started this job, since I, I haven't been sleeping well since the pandemic has started, I've been worried about it. Because I've always had to go go out and go to work and then come back home to my mother and my sister, which are both older than me and are more susceptible to getting COVID-19. And that is one thing that I do not want to give my family is COVID-19 because they're very important to me. This is why I, if they do go into a complete and total lockdown again in the United States, that they should uh, basically re-change re who the essential workers are. And give certain ones paid leave, should I say. That's the best I can put it. Because the paid leave would be that they would be getting the regular unemployment. Plus the pandemic unemployment assistance as well on top of that. So they could be, they could actually still be making a paycheck. But still, you know, at least having some time off to actually relax and catch up with some, some well-deserved shut-eye. So they can actually go back to work refreshed and clear-minded so they can actually do the job more properly but this is just my take on it. this is i mean i would like to have the time off that'd be great but most likely chances are is what's gonna happen is, is i won't get this time off i will since i am an essential employee after all and i will be required to work during the darkest days of american history when it comes to pandemic but as for now this has actually been my uh version of the people's stimulus check and stimulus package for my viewers and subscribers out there because you guys need to know and it is very important that you get know what's going on so you can see and determine for yourself whether our politicians are playing games with us or not and till next time basically you guys have a wonderful evening an excellent night please stay safe out there and remember we're all in this together since we're all we have so until next time be safe, all right?